So today's video, again, apologize for sounding sick. This is what keeps happening. Today's video is going to be about clearing up a blockage <laughs> because I have another one. Yay! <sighs> the joys of Crohn's disease and having an ostomy. Please do not worry, this one is not as severe as some I've had in the past. Last night we went to a party um, for a friend and the entire time I was miserable and it just sucks because you don't feel like talking to anybody, so I basically sat in the corner, hunched over, while Zach did all the talking. Thank goodness it was a friend who knew a lot about IBD, and a lot of people who have family members with IBD were there, so um, I think people kind of got it, but I really didn't feel good. I felt pain around my stoma. It felt like kind of a very... Um, hard pressure just pushing outwards. It didn't really clue into me. I thought, oh, I'm just having like stomach pain. Maybe I ate something. But I really didn't eat a whole lot yesterday. In fact, the only thing I ate, which was probably stupid of me, but the only thing I ate was this corn guacamole. Um, I don't know. Yeah, corn guacamole. It was freaking delicious, but um, I think that's what killed me. I am still having output, um, pretty normal output, but I can tell usually I digest things pretty quickly. There's still evidence of that guacamole. My life is so glamorous, guys. Anyway, I think that the corn is getting stuck. Um, so I'm gonna try some things to relieve it and I will tell you how they go. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some tea, some like hot tea. Um, sometimes they say like carbonated stuff, sodas help, but we don't have any soda in the house. So I'm gonna go get some hot tea. I've got two choices in tea. We've got this organic pomegranate green tea, which Zach's mom gave me for Christmas. And then I also have this um, sweet tangerine positive energy tea. So which one should I have? Kinda feeling this one. And the perfect mug. I'm gonna use my first aid mug because this is going to be my first aid for um, my little blockage that I think I'm experiencing. Are you being a good girl? Okay, here we go. The real key to all tea. Love honey, it's so good, oh my gosh. Yes, okay, let's see if it works. <laughs> Look, it's my little manatee. Isn't he so cute? You put your tea in there, and then he sits in the cup. It's cute. This is the best therapy. It works for all illnesses. And it's called dog therapy. And the dogs might hate it. <laughs> and they might grumble at you. But it's okay. Mm, I'm a good girl. Mm, she hates me. So it still feels like there is a little bit of pressure behind my stoma. It's a little bit annoying because every time I cough, it makes the stoma hurt. So I know that there's something still stuck, but just so you guys don't get too, too worried. Can you see that? Clearly stuff is moving through. I just need it to move a little bit better. I'm starting up another pot of coffee, so I'm gonna try some hot coffee. And then, if that's not really working, I'm gonna get in a hot shower, which I need to do anyway because I haven't gotten ready today yet. And I think it's like 3.30 p.m. Don't judge me. Coffee didn't work, so I am running upstairs to get a shower, which I should anyway. I hate you. 
I took a shower and I let the hot water kind of hit my stomach around my stoma and I think it helped a little bit but I also did some massage with it so I sort of massaged towards my stoma and then I also held pressure just like around it um, and that did help move some things through but I can still feel there's something stuck and the pain is not really that severe. It was definitely worse last night, but I feel okay now. I think that time is gonna be the answer with this one. Um, you know, I've made sure that it is not an emergency case, so my stoma still looks that beefy red, which is always good. Um, it's still moving around and, and doing its thing. I don't feel nauseated at all. I'm still having output. It's just, you know, something stuck. I'm able to eat, drink, things like that, so. Um, I don't think that this is an emergency case. Of course, I'll just keep my eye on it. Um, and if you guys are experiencing blockages at home, um, always make sure to let your doctor know what's going on, you know, when it's happening, and they can help you decide whether or not uh, you'll need to go to the hospital or not. But um, I feel pretty confident that I am okay. Um, of course, I say that, and I'm going to totally jinx myself. Let me knock on some wood here. But, um, yeah, I hope I start feeling better soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next. You want to say bye, Zach? Bye! Bye! bye.